Some of the United States' closest Arab allies gave President Joe Biden the cold shoulder as he and his diplomats shuttled around the Middle East in an attempt to prevent the Israel-Hamas war from spiraling into a wider regional conflagration. Jordan, Egypt and the Palestinian Authority canceled a planned meeting with Biden less than 24 hours before he was supposed to meet them for a four-way summit in the Jordanian capital, Oman, on Wednesday. The cancellation followed a massive blast in Gaza's Al-Ali Baptist Hospital that reportedly killed hundreds of Palestinians. Palestinian officials blamed Israel for the hospital blast, while Israeli officials said it was caused by a misfired Islamic Jihad rocket. The summit won't be able to stop the war, which is what we want, Jordan's foreign minister Ayman Safadi told Al Jazeera early Wednesday, calling the hospital blast a war crime. So, we decided not to hold it, he said. Biden arrived in Tel Aviv on Wednesday, where he met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and members of the Israeli War Cabinet. The president pledged continued backing of Israel and told Netanyahu that the hospital explosion appears as though it was done by the other team, not you. The National Security Council said Wednesday that the government currently believes Israel is not responsible for the blast. Arab leaders appear to be alarmed at Washington's near-complete support for Israel and the war and are trying to distance themselves from the Biden administration as anger grows on the Arab street against the Jewish state. At least 3,478 people have been killed in Gaza since the October 7 attack on Israel by Gaza's Hamas rulers, which killed at least 1,400 in the country. After news of the hospital blast broke on Tuesday, anti-Israel protests erupted in Lebanon, Iraq, Jordan, Iran and Turkey, and in Ramallah in the West Bank.